Nikki and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for watching today's pack with me video because as you can see in the title, we are headed on a Disney cruise. Woo woo. Oh yeah, dance break. Mm, mm, mm. So pumped, you guys. Beyond excited. So much excitement is happening. I can't even like describe it, how excited we are to go. A little bit of a backstory. So we are going on the Disney Wish for three nights, four days. We are doing a Bohemian cruise. We are porting in Nassau, Bahamas and Castaway Key. I have to think about to say that correctly. Uh, we will not be getting off um, in NASA, but we are going to get off in Castaway Key. So, first and foremost, please make sure you're subscribed to the channel because I will be vlogging our entire trip. Fun fact, we are doing one of, this is like a bucket list trip that I've always wanted to do. Land and sea, that's what like they call it. It's technically sea and land for us. So we are going on a Disney cruise and then we are heading to the parks for five days. We're staying at the Riviera. I like can't even believe this is real life. Is this real life? This is real life. With that, I've never packed for a cruise before. I have been on a Disney cruise when I was younger. So. When I was a small child, my parents took my sister and I on a Disney cruise. I can't remember which ship we went on, but this will be my first Disney cruise in 15 years, probably. I don't know. Beats me. Uh, we, Jackson has never been on a Disney cruise. He's never been on a cruise in general. Pretty confident that our like seasickness should be fine. I normally am good um, with like motion sickness. Sometimes in the car, there's like someone crazy driving, my father. <laughs> um, and other than that, like I'm good. Jackson should be fine. We have all of the medicines ready to go because I'm prepared then normally I feel like we're cool and don't need those items if I wasn't prepared then we probably would so definitely prepared for all of like the motion sickness jazz yeah cool so like I mentioned sea and land which means we need to make sure we're packing appropriately for this trip we have a lot of days we will technically be in disney for nine days nine days yes our first day so we get in so we're getting in to orlando on thursday we are driving directly to port canaveral because our cruise leaves on friday we opted not to do the Disney transportation because we wanted to be in Port Canaveral Thursday night. Um, we will be staying at a residence inn and I will be vlogging all of this. So many vlogs to come. By the time you guys see this video, we've already been back from our trip and I will be able to like speak on more of all of that once we experience it. But at this moment, we haven't yet. So we're staying at that hotel and that hotel will actually shuttle us over to the port. So that's super nice. If anything, if we feel like we don't want to wait for the shuttle um, or if it costs like an outrageous amount of money, which I don't think it does, we're only about seven minutes from the port. So we could just Uber and get dropped off too. But lots of videos coming. Today's video though is all about packing with me for our cruise. Uh, what I'm bringing that I normally wouldn't because we're going on a cruise. I feel like we have a lot of more like random items. 
we have our fish extender or like fish exchange i've heard it been be called two different things i will have a video on that separately i will have a video after our cruise letting you know things that we didn't need that we brought or things that we wish we would have uh, brought with us so again lots of content cruise content coming to the channel and i am super pumped so right now, uh, y'all are going to be very impressed with me, very proud of me. I hope you are. How organized I am. Oh my goodness. Since this video is going to go in depth of each individual item that I'm bringing, I went ahead and already laid everything out. I have all my clothes laid out. I have all of my miscellaneous items laid out. So we are, so I'm ready to show you everything that i'm going to pack nothing is actually packed yet we'll do that together uh, but i wanted to show you each individual item that i am bringing first so we're gonna get started with that and yeah we leave tomorrow morning i don't think i mentioned that yet or tomorrow afternoon i'm pumped we're freaking going on the disney wish I can't even believe it. I can't even like we've waited for this for such a long time. I don't even remember when we booked it. Feels like forever ago, maybe a year plus. I don't remember. But your girl's excited. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give this video a big thumbs up. And let's get packing. So we're going to start in my guest room. All of my clothes are on my bed. I'm just going to go through that super quick with you to show you a couple of the items that I'm bringing. Then I can finally throw them in my packing cubes and in my level 8 suitcase. Absolutely loved using that during our last trip. I will link that pack with me video and all my other pack with me videos down in the description below so you can see like all the details about my new luggage. But let's take a peek at my clothes and then we'll head over to like the cruise items that I would only bring like because we're going on the cruise. So if you watched any of my pack with me videos before, you know I love to write out all of my outfits, everything that I would need. So here is everything pretty much sectioned out. My main goal is to make sure I have all of my cruise items in one spot. So those are like swimsuits, travel, um, embarkation day, uh, dinners, workouts, and then like extra randomness. And then we get into like park outfits over here. My goal is to only bring out the outfits that I need for the cruise when we're on the cruise, which insert packing cubes. And that is going to be extremely, extremely helpful. So the shirt I'm wearing when we go on, I got this shirt from Esty. It's like Moana. It says, oh, what does it start with? Oh, uh, see where the sky meets the sea. It calls me and it is super cute. It has the little uh, DCL logo up here and the ship. And I just thought it would be great for our first day. Um, I have some black jean shorts. I'm going to wear my purple outfit on the plane Thursday. I have all of my swimsuits. I am bringing three different swimsuits and then my Disney cover-up. Once we get into... So once we get into the days, again, we haven't been on a cruise before um really i haven't been on one in like years so i'm not totally sure on like what i need for my day outfits but i have just like sweatshirts if it's cold on the ship i have some like t-shirts and biker shorts that i can wear um i have these like cuter outfits for possibly dinner so this kind of Gave me this shirt I bought all such a long time ago. Gave me like cruisy vibes. I have some Lily Poulter dresses. I have Lily, uh, it's Disney line, just a regular Lily one. And then this like Lion King one that I love to wear. So I have those ones for dinner because I feel like we'll 
more than likely like change for the dinner and the show at night. I have a couple of like workout items. We're gonna run the fun. We are going to run the 5K at Castaway Key. And so I wanted to have like a couple of workout items. Might wanna work out on the ship just cause like it's cool. I don't know, maybe, who knows. So I have lots. I have one pair of leggings, pair of jeans, some biker shorts, some like random tees that are a possibility, some more shorts, my jean shorts. So that's like cruise focused right here. Um, when we get into the parks, I have our Hollywood Studios day outfit. I have my Animal Kingdom outfit down here. Some like just extra shirts. I might throw like one of these outfits too in the cruise. I haven't decided yet. I have our Magic Kingdom days. This will be the last time we're visiting for the 50th. So I really wanted to like wear more of my 50th gear at the parks. Obviously I can wear it in the future, but it's finally coming to end. Like not sad about it. I have my overalls that I might wear to Epcot. I have this white dress and my purple sweater that I might wear to Epcot. I'm not sure I'm going to be feeling about this dress on the day, so bringing those just in case. So quick overview, um, here are my outfits. I have my pajamas. I am bringing my jean jacket that's under here. I already have all my socks and undergarments packed away, so here are all the clothes. Now let's put them in their packing cube. Do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on I put my feet up and we just sing along And I can't help but feeling just loving cruise items in Cinderella and Ariel blue theme so I remember like okay blue there we go um Aurora has just this top in it I was going to bring this one as well I got this one on my last trip but I'm already taking my DVC 
pullover and I was also going to bring this one and that's just like way too much. So I'm ditching my purple one. I'm bringing my DVC one. I will wear that on the plane. So that's my plane outfit. I have my jean jacket and my overalls that are probably going to be both park and cruise. So I'm going to keep those out and just like stick them in my luggage. And then Tiana and Jasmine are for the parks. I'm going to keep this out as well because I don't want to like dig through my packing cubes at our hotel for the one night. So that is my plan currently. Do you need something, ma'am? Are you just the cutest little girl? Are you going to have fun vacation too? Are you sitting on my packing cubes? There we go. You going to have a fun vacation? Yeah, I'm going to miss you, but you're going to be a good girl. Yes, you are. You're so cute. Casey Cam. Casey Cam. Okay, shoes. We're doing Birkenstocks, Nikes, and then my on cloud running shoes. There we go. Couldn't remember. Oh, did I snap? And did you come? You're so good. Next. All right. Clothes are packed, ready to go. Just had to put those in the suitcase. We'll do that in a little bit. I'm going to go through everything else that I'm bringing with you now. So if you are going on a cruise anytime soon or just interested in what you should bring for the cruise, this is like your section. I will preface, shout out to all the YouTubers in the world that I watch their pack with me cruise videos. I wasn't really sure like what we needed to bring, if we needed to bring anything different than we usually bring, you do. And I watched all the videos, all of the video, all of the packing videos. Got to the point where I just had to stop watching the cruise pack with me videos because I just kept adding and adding and adding to our Amazon cart, but we're good now. We have everything that we could possibly need on this cruise. And I'm gonna show you what those items are. Here's like a quick overview of everything. So we're gonna go like one by one through all of these like fun little items to show you what I'm bringing, why I'm bringing it, and yeah. So let's start on this side and we'll work our way over. So here are all the ears that I am bringing on our trip. Again, remember this is a sea and land vacation. So a lot of these I will be wearing in the parks. I'm going to wear these ones on our embarkation day. They're brand new from BB Brook. I love the red. It looks like so great with like cruise line red, different things like that. So all of these ears will be coming with us. Here, <laughs> so don't call me crazy, but I will explain why you need all of these bottles. Okay, bringing Miss Stanley. She will be coming with us. I am bringing this smaller Turvis tumbler for Jackson. I'm not 100% sure if I am bringing this one yet because I want to buy the Disney Cruise Line one. So I might just risk it for the biscuit. And if Jackson doesn't have one, I'm sure he, I know he's not gonna care. Uh, but I think that one might stay home. I'll bring the straw though, and we'll use like our new one so that kind of eliminates instead of bringing one and then buying one. I will be bringing my Run Disney Corsicle. I got this during Marathon Weekend. Uh, if you haven't watched that video, make sure you go ahead and do that. So I am bringing both of these water bottles. My plan is to use like this one mainly on the cruise ship. I can just fill it with water. I love having water with me at all times. So I'll either fill like my Stanley with like a Diet Coke or water. I just like want to have lots of options. I have this is my park water bottle that I always take. I'm not too sure how this one will do in my park bag. So like just bringing both because you know and then I have my to-go coffee mug I get coffee every morning and so I can go down to the little area and get my beverages for Disney Cruise Line all food and non-alcoholic beverages are included and so people suggest to bring different cups and stuff so then you can get a larger portion don't have to constantly like go back and forth so those are coming with us. 
Next are these like randomness items. So I'm bringing my little keychains that I like to put on my backpack. And then I have my fan and my cooling towel. I don't think I will need my cooling towel. I love using my fan like no matter what. But it is supposed to be like around 80 degrees. So we'll see. I'd rather have it. Rather be safe than sorry. Um, so our, here is our AirTag bag. We use AirTags while traveling. This will be my second time using these and keeping them in our luggage. We absolutely love doing this. It was such a nice peace of mind knowing that when you went down to pick up your bags that they were actually going to be there. So we have those ones. Uh, we got the pack of four. So like I use two and Jackson uses two and it works perfectly for us. I have my sleep mask. I always bring my autograph book. Whenever we meet characters, I always forget to bring it out. So hopefully I remember. I have this fun little eyeglass cleaner. My laundry bag. This little pencil case is keeping all of my chargers. So it has, ooh, come on. There we go. Uh, it has my GoPro mount, my hand mount for my GoPro, my GoPro, uh, my other camera chargers for like this camera that I'm using. This is my dad's GoPro, so this will be the first time I'm using it. He's letting me borrow it. I've always wanted one, and so I'm going to try his out, see if I like it. But I bought like a hand mount for it when we're going down water slides and such. And this is the pencil case pouch by Stony Clover. Next is this very old Danielle and Nicole Tinkerbell pouch that I use for my phone chargers. So I have this one in here and then I have one currently charging. That's the one I normally use because it has the cord with it and I really enjoy that. Uh, so those will go in here. And then I have this small pouch that holds loads of random stuff. So it has my batteries, it has my, uh, you wanna focus? So this pouch holds a lot of random stuff. It has these different koozies that I like to use on my Starbucks drinks, my final straws, and these are from Impossible Dreams Co. I'll leave her linked down below, but I kind of have a lot in here. I probably don't need to bring all of those, but that's okay. Um, I have some uh, band-aids in here. I have another like random charger that's just living down there. I always like to bring some of my stickers from my shop linked down below as well, just in case I see somebody and they uh, would like a sticker. And then I have a charger, hair ties, I feel like this isn't focusing for you at all, but this is just the randomness pouch and I will remove some of these items in the park, uh, but normally I bring this one with me if it fits in my park bag and it is ready for the day. Okay, and this bag I have some small hand sanitizers, some little Mickey keychains that are bottle openers. These are our cast member gifts. We love giving these out to cast members uh, that we have fun interactions with. Which always goes in my park bag. So I have some band-aids, a face mask, my lip gloss, some lip chap, my lipstick. Looks like there's a cough drop in there. I will add items from that small pouch in to this mini for my park bag if needed but this one always goes with me and then in this mini i have all of my magic bands shoved in there i'm not going to open that because it's like stuffed and then in this one i have just some like extra hair ties i am going to throw my new sticker bag that i created probably not in there um but this is just like extra hair items and then if i need like another mini pouch in my park bag i can just take these out and use this so now we're getting into the items that i'm bringing because we're going on a cruise so i found this super cute like how adorable is that Cruise is like a large pouch. So those are my Sony Clover ones. This is one I just found on Etsy. I'll leave her shop linked below. Uh, so for our cabin, this is just hand sanitizer. For our cabin, I have some hooks for us. 
every video I watched, they said to bring like magnetic hooks because a lot of things are magnetic in your room. And then you can use these to hang items. I don't know how true that is, but I got some. They're purple, so I was happy. So the number one item on all the videos I watched was this little potpourri like sprayer. I don't like it's a toilet spray. Yeah, if you know, cruise state rooms are very small. So yeah, I wasn't going to buy this, but after watching about four videos and every single person was like, you need to buy this, I bought it. It was like not very expensive on Amazon. I'll create like a Amazon list of all of these items in the description down below for you too. But I mean, you can't go wrong with this, right? Like, you would rather have it and be safe than not. Next cruise focus item is Sea Safe. So this is marine friendly and it's really important that if you ha are bringing sunscreen, which you should be, and you're going in the ocean, that it is marine friendly so it helps protect the coral. And supposedly there's like some jellyfish or like sea lice or something and this helps with it. Yeah, I don't know if we'll go in the ocean this trip because it might be a little chilly. I'm not sure if the water is warm down there, but just having it to be rather be safe than sorry. Okay, next cruise focus item are these iPhone waterproof cases. Now that I'm thinking of it, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know if we actually need these, but I thought it wasn't like gonna hurt. I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do um, when we get to Castaway Key. So I thought these would be nice. I have my dad's GoPro now, so I can like shoot content with that instead of my phone. But they were like $10 for two, so what ifs. Next up are these motion sickness patches. Again, like I said at the beginning of this video, I'd rather have them and be safe than not have anything and have to like pay a crap ton of money on the ship. So we have so these. We also bought Bonnie. I think that's how you pronounce it. But I guess these are supposed to be super helpful. And I got two boxes like just in case. I don't know. I mean, again, I've said this a million times. I'd rather have these items than not have them. Um... I just got some Sudafed, just in case, Pepto-Bismol, Tums, I got some sh Shout Wipes, that's kind of hard to say. Fun fact, I'm 95% sure I'm allergic to Tide, so I can't use Tide Stick, uh, so got some Shout. So those are all like the random cruise items that I purchased from Amazon. I got a couple of like the little travel um, items from Target as well. I feel like they have a great travel section that always like it gets me. It's like those little sizes. Love them. But I also bought these blow pop suckers. Valentine's edition. Valentine's. Yeah. Valentine's Day. I said that right. Hey. Yeah. Whatever. Um, for our door because we're doing a fish extender and i am so excited about that i will explain that in like a completely different video there's a lot to it so i don't want to like mumble jumble it with the pack packing video um but these are like i my mom got these from target for me she found them so i'm going to hang these on our door i have um, my castaway club silver metal magnet that i made in design coming soon to casey's corner and then I also got like a little whiteboard so people can like leave notes. I don't know. I've been on Facebook in videos again, guys. Too much. Okay. So we'll see if we even use that. I have magnets for our doors that I created. And then these I got from Amazon. And then I just made that. So I have a silhouette machine and we made those so it's a jackson and nikki so we'll hang this like outside of our door i got the actual hanging thing on amazon it actually came in a pack of two i'm bringing this one just in case we want to use it in our room uh so we have that packed up ready to go and then all of these are like my gifts for everyone that's in our group again like that will be coming i'll explain what all that means snack um, bag 
we have some bars in here again all of the foods included on the cruise so I don't plan on using any of this besides my liquid IV and my vitamins that I have in here and maybe some of my trail mix um, while we're traveling but I just have like my Nutri-Grain bars for breakfast when we're at the Riviera but I don't have a lot of snacks in here this time so we are set ready to go these two so these two pouches don't have anything in it because all of this crap has to go on there so yeah okay at the current moment this is my bag situation <laughs> so i'm bringing my large stony clover backpack and then i got this really cute cruise tote so this will be coming with me whether it's folded or not, I'm totally not 100% sure on my suitcase situation. Okay, I'm taking my Love Light suitcase, and then I'm probably gonna take that purple one that y'all have seen too. So I'm not sure if I'm bringing my Away carry-on. I might just use my Sony Clover backpack and then this cruise tote as my carry-on. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. I need to figure out like, my life. I need to get my life together. Okay, back to the bags. I am bringing my tried and true Dooney backpack. I love this, y'all. I have so many backpacks, and I just look at all of them, and I always pick this one because it never fails me, and she's getting pretty old. Okay, uh, fanny pack. So I'm taking Sensational 6, my magic one, my magic one, because I feel like that's like kind of cruisy vibes uh cinderella cinderella is actually the like this is gonna sound crazy the sponsored character for the cruise ship which doesn't make sense to me because rapunzel's on the outside and cinderella gets the gold statue yeah don't talk to me about it because i'm just angry okay cool and then like ages years years ago i got this peony pack it's by Loungefly, Disney Cruise Line. Honestly, like, the quality compared to those is very low. I don't know if I'll use it, but I feel like I need to bring it because I'm going on a cruise. And then the big hot tamale. My new friend. This is the Disney Wish inaugural Dooney and Burke that I will be bringing with me. I had planned on purchasing this, purchasing this on the ship. Um, however, it was on extreme sale. Extreme. When I say extreme, obviously it was too good to pass up on sale. And so I decided, well, if it's on sale and I know I'm going to buy it when I get to the ship. Why am I not just going to buy it now? So I love this. This is also an option for a carry-on. So, I think once I get all this packed up, then I need to get my suitcase situation in order. I watch you as you drive. Do you know I'm looking? And I can't help but smile. Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time Don't you know that Just loving this moment 
this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here Fanny packs, especially my ears, but I have to do it this trip. So, my carry on is gonna be my pack pack and my Dooney and Burke wish purse, which is fine. My husband told me I can't bring three suitcases, that's why <laughs> I'm getting tired. I need to take a shower. I think we're gonna pick this video up tomorrow when I finish packing I am just going to close my purple suitcase make sure that's under 50 I'll probably close my big one too to see where we're at there but other than that I just have to put my toiletries in there and we're ready to go sailing <gasps> set sail do 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 okay I'll see you in the morning so it is the next day. We are actually already at the airport. Everything is now packed. We are ready to go. Um, yeah, that's gonna be it for today's packing with me video. 
thank you so much for watching today's video uh, let me know in the comments down below if you are going on a cruise have you ever been on a cruise what questions you have about disney cruise because i'm going to do another video like just in general about our cruise so let me know what questions you have in the comments down below i hope you guys have a magical rest of your day and i will see you real soon bye